We are back again with more crap than you can poke a toilet brush at. That's right, crap this cars. <laughs> this is my crap car. The show where we celebrate all the crap from around the internet that people drive. And man, I've, I've been having a lot of fun looking through all the crap videos that you guys have sent us. And this week is something, see, there's a lot of crap out there, but this is, this is like munching on a beetroot and every kind of fruit and then just spraying the porcelain with it. Yeah. Isn't it? In a, throwing it in a blender and then just drinking the juice that comes out of it. This is a Citroen C1, which we don't get in Australia. A three cylinder piece of automotive art, really. It's like a Euro, kind of their version of like a little key car, isn't it? Yep. Um, but what this guy has done, there are some superb moments. I need you to keep your eyeballs on the shifter, the shifter surround, have a look at the roll cage stuff, his little beer bong in the back. Like this is, this is unlike anything you've ever seen before. 10 out of 10 for creativity and 11 out of 10 for crapness. Check this out. It's a Citroen C1 from 2007. Bought it completely stock and made a bunch of modifications to it. Let's start with one of the big parts, the roof cut. Made it a couple of months ago with some of my friends, just a big angle grinder and a lot of time even cut the lights and all had this small cage welded inside it's made out of a bo uh, an old football goal I found at some yard over there then we have the door oh yeah the door is right there it's removable I thought that the normal hinges was a bit too bland and boring, so went for this. Just some, I don't know what to call this, door hinges. <laughs> yeah, and uh, excuse my welding. Coming around the front, we have a way too big pull bar, way too big LED lights, lots of rust, oil cooler. That is not connected to anything because. Why would it? Banded steelies. Actually can't remember the size of them. It's 14 inches. I think they are eight, eight and a half inch in front and nine in the back. Then we have one inch spaces in the front and one and a half inch in the back. It's kind of messy right now. I got the planks for getting it on the trailer and some of the things I've been removing and all of that stuff. But we got uh, some Legos. I got my center console, some light switches for the light bar and strobe lights and LED kit and that kind of stuff. The floor on this side is uh, made out of uh, Danish car magazine, a really nice magazine actually. And on the other side is just, yeah, rust. Because this is a French car and they are rust rusting like hell. Made a new uh, gear shifter, why not? Got my beer holder, you got to have one of those. And on the door over there, I actually had a, a wine holder because it's a French car. You need to have somewhere to place your wine. The back is just all kind of garbage. Now this is red look and it has to be filled with all this kind of <laughs> shit. Oh, and this one. An old beer bong I made 13 years ago. And the engine bay. A standard three cylinder 1.0 little sewing machine or what you're gonna call it actually a okay engine for a daily driver or commute car or what you're gonna call it we're gonna make it twin turbo one turbo two turbos exhaust straight up that's me that's my where is it there that's my car that's all I have to show. Man, what was your favorite thing about um, that vehicle? I love the roof chop. Straight up, yep, roof coming off, and now every time I want to use it, I'm gonna put a car cover on it. That's commitment to crapness. I, I love the Lego, man. Like, that was just, like, who's done that? The gear shift, it comes up to here. Yeah. It's, it's, some, it, it's amazing. And also, the football goal roll cage. Absolutely incredible. Now, we would yeah. love to feature 
your crap car on the show. This is where you can send your videos and how to do it. You can send your videos to mycrapcar at unicorncircuit.com. You can do a YouTube video, you can unlist it, you can do what you want, film it that way, avoid the wind noise, and um, show us what you got. Yeah, and try and avoid putting music on it because we'll add that on there as well. This is My Crap Car, the series where we celebrate your crap car, and like we always say, if the alpaca's hairy, it's gonna be a good day.